So, hey, I'm here with Annika, and we're talking about the new board that we're looking at creating for the LA Robotics Club. Uh, we wanted to make something kind of small and, and really low cost, and we have a prototype together right now. We're looking to mass produce it, and we wanted to get your support. Um, what have you got right there? Well, this is going to be the, uh, it's Arduino compatible, um, and it is, this is going to be the board. Um, of course, it's not fully assembled. We're still in the process of doing that. But then we have the FTDI and the USB over here, and um, those two are going to go together. If you have one of these, you can have as many boards as you want. So if you have, so if you later want to like um, use like anything that doesn't have the USB, um, the big thing that I like about this is that the it's very lightweight and it's very small. And a lot of the projects at the LA Robotics Club that we do are um, like quadcopters, maybe aquatic. Um, very small projects. Um, um, we have a couple of little rover projects that we're working on, and I'd really like to get everyone in the club to where they have a smaller board like this that they can um, put on their project. Now, we're looking at $5 for this board, and then another 5 for this, but um, you could order like 10 of these for $5 each, and then also if you lose your quadcopter, which we've had people do, um, I think we've got one or two in the Pacific Ocean right now, um, that way, it's got the exact same power as like a larger microcontroller. Cool. So then, it's it's going to be uh, Arduino compatible, right? Yes. So if I could use yes. the Arduino. It's open Arduino source. IDE yes, exactly. You could use the IDE. Yeah. Um, cool. And and this could be picked up at the LA Robotics yes, Club meetings, they, or you can. It's going to be shipped anywhere in the world, as well. Yeah, so. we'll we'll have to add shipping yeah. if people aren't local. Um, the main idea of this is to have something for everyone in the club. Yeah. Um, that's very affordable. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'd like people to be able to pick it up at the club. I'll have, you know. And I think when we were talking about the designs, we wanted to have um, VCC and ground on all of the analog ports. And I think there's going to be six total. Yeah, as six. Well as so it'll be like eight digital. Eight channel. Yeah, yeah, six across yeah. the end. Cool. So, so then it'll be low cost. It'll be fairly lightweight. Yeah. So it looks like it could fit into a rocket body yep. um, or one of those really lightweight helicopters and as well. The vast majority of the components will be through hole. So if for some reason your, um, I don't know, your chip burns out, it's going to be in a socket. Right. So you can just pull it out and put in a new chip. Cool. So instead so of having to throw away your board. Um, and then the other, the other components are all going to be through hole. I well. think the other reason we did that was some. Um, so if you wanted to add software in the field. Yeah. You could just uh, program the chip, take the chip with you, and then stick the chip, swap the chips out instead of bringing the whole board out. If you like I know a lot of uh, some of the projects I do, I have the the board physically mounted onto a either a helicopter or something, and I, I don't want to lug the helicopter into my office. I could just pull yep. the chip off, put a new chip on, yep. and, and then you the have software. something that fits in your pocket. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and it's it's got all the exact same. Uh, it's going to have the same amount of um, inputs and. Um, right. Yeah. But it'll be much cheaper, it'll be much smaller, and I'm hoping to make it a little more versatile than the larger boards. Right, right, right. Okay, excellent. Okay.